The woodman whose rough heart was out of tune, I think such hearts yet never came to good, hated to hear under the stars or moon one nightingale in an interfluous wood satiate the hungry dark with melody, and as a veil is watered by a flood, or as the moonlight fills the open sky struggling with darkness, as a tuberose peoples some Indian dell with scents which lie like clouds above the flower from which they rose. The singing of that happy nightingale in this sweet forest from the golden close of evening to the star of dawn may fail, was interfused upon the silentness. The folded roses and the violets pale heard her within their slumbers. The abyss of heaven with all its planets the dull ear of the night cradled earth, the loneliness of the circumfluous waters, every sphere and every flower and beam and cloud and wave and every wind of the mute atmosphere, and every beast stretched in its rugged cave, and every bird lolled on its mossy bough, and every silver moth fresh from the grave which is its cradle ever from below, Aspiring like one who loves too fair, too far, to be consumed within the purest glow of one serene and unapproached star, as if it were a lamp of earthly light, unconscious as some human lovers are, itself how low, how high beyond all height, the heaven where it would perish, and every form that worshipped in the temple of the night was old and to delight. And by the charm girt as with an interminable zone, whilst that sweet bird whose music was a storm of sound shook forth the dull oblivion out of their dreams, harmony became love in every soul but one. And so this man returned with axe and saw at evening close from killing the tall tree, the soul of whom by nature's gentle law was each a wood nymph and kept evergreen. The pavement and the roof of the wild copse checkering the sunlight of the blue serene with jagged leaves and from the forest tops singing the winds to steep or weeping oft fast showers of aerial water drops into their mother's bosom sweet and soft nature's pure tears which have no bitterness around the cradles of the birds aloft they spread themselves into the loveliness of fan-like leaves and over pallid flowers hang like moist clouds or where high branches kiss make a green space among the silent bowers, like a vast fane in a metropolis, surrounded by the columns and the towers, all overwrought with branch-like traceries, in which there is religion and the mute persuasion of unkindled melody. Odours and gleams and murmurs, which the lute of the blind pilot spirit of the blast stirs as it sails, now grave and now acute, wakening the leaves and waves, ere it has passed to such brief unison as on the brain one tone, which never can recur, has cast one accent never to return again. The world is full of woodmen who expel love's gentle dryads from the haunts of life, and vex the nightingales in every dell.